hello everybody, welcome back to part two of the latest episode of Five Idiots. Um, we have had our little break, <laughs> there you go, Dimmy. Um, so yeah, we're outside the country wizards and I guess we're going to do a bit of shopping now. Okay, so um, you are outside the country wizards. Was there anything before we finish up with him, was there anything else that you had maybe during the break you had thought you wanted to convey to the country wizard or ask him or anything before we move on? I don't think so. Mm. And that's fine. I mean, we don't necessarily have to say you can't ever come back to him. I just wanted to see if there was anything on your mind as of right now. Um, so, Dimitri, you walk out the country wizard's place, right? You just asked us right now, which is why I bring this up. You were asking about this manor right here, right? Mm-hmm. Um, did you want to approach it? I mean, it's a pretty big place. It's, it's, it's obviously one of the council's homes. Uh, yeah, so can I have a little look around or like what? Well, you're not gonna you're not just gonna walk right in there are some guards out front So what you've discovered there that's the house of reckless <laughs> ah, right, Okay. So this is this is the home of the house of reckless here um, This one down here as you walk by this is sky blue manor oh. And this one up here is um, is down under manor <laughs> Down under so those are the three uh the three of the high council for victor so again you work for um sky blue when you go on the uh on the um uh logging when you're when you when you're in your logging uh it's his operation you work for so like you see all these buildings Yes, how a lot of these are residences. So how do we know who these shops are and the black? Well, you just kind of so again, we can we don't want to get so parsed deep into it. What's in this house? What's in this house? What's in this house? Type thing. So just simply call out what you're looking for. If you ask me where the forge is, and then I can I'll label these up as we go. Now that you know that for next time as well. Okay. But you specifically ask for like a forge type deal. So that's yep. located right here. All right. Let's head to the forge. Okay. So you walk down the road, obviously. Um, you make the right at the at the uh, at the at the curve, and on your left hand side, you see a very well appointed forge. Out back, you hear the clanging of metal. Um, you see behind it are plumes of dark smoke, not crazy big, but you know you you know you know what these sounds and and smells and and sights are from the battlefield, right? There's 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 obviously a forge in operation out back of this building. Right, I, is the door open or is it? Yeah, you could simply, you could easily just walk right in. Absolutely. I mean, right. it's a, it's a shop. There's a, there's a, um, um, there's a sign out front that's hanging. Glorious. No, uh, I won't what's give the sign in. say? So I'm simple victorious. armor shop, right? It's, it's got and a, it's I got a picture defend. of a, a, of a I shield on defend. it, a couple of cross weapons, maybe a sword and an Another axe. Month. And um, below it, in in this beautifully carved script, script, below it, it's um, it's Miss Space Pell Space Tree. Whoa! So I will walk into the forge or into the shop. I will bow my head and I will say good day. <laughs> so inside, you see the first. This is a sight for you, Invicta. This is the first time you've seen an elf in town. <laughs> right? So you've seen elves before. They're not overly common, not in this area. Um, but, you know, you haven't, when you think about it, aside from Elliot and aside from a few that have been over in the Rowdy Gnome, you haven't seen a lot of gnomes. You haven't seen many halflings other than the, the four over at the Quad Skull. This seems to be a pretty homogenous human town, right? It's just, it's, 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 you know that Elliot came up from the south, so there are some gnomish enclaves to the south. Um, but this is the first time that you've seen an elf in these, in these, in these, in these parts. Hey. Good day. How are you? I am Dimitriov, and uh, I, I admire your establishment here. Uh, what brings you to a fine town like Victor? 
So from around a, a, a small um, um, cabinet, where inside this cabinet are some of the most beautiful swords, daggers, rapiers that you've ever seen. It's obvious that this is a specialist swordsmith of some kind. Doesn't mean that she doesn't have other skills. Um, it just, these are the items that are that are distinctly on display, beautiful. And from around, um, from around the, that cabinet approaches a, a, an elf and she addresses and she uh, introduces herself. Good afternoon, I'm Pell, Pell Tree. Good afternoon. This is some very fine weaponry you have here. She turns around and she looks, she takes in, El I'm assuming everybody's here. She takes in Eliad. She takes in Daka. She takes in Flargo Snarp in his brand new, amazing, fantastic robes that, that no longer look like crapola and covered in blood. Mm -hmm. um, and she she offers a hearty thanks. Why, thank you. And she, she turns around. Would you be, would you like to see any of them? I, I would, I, I would, I would just, um, <clears throat> do, do you, do you craft axes or do you, do you dabble with axes? If you have the size and statistics, I'm sorry, the size and the, uh, and the breakdown of what it is that you need, I can craft anything out of metal and wood. Well, I'll, I, I'll take off my axe and I'll slide it across the desk and say, these are the sort of size that I'm looking for. So she picks it up with a very strong arm, right? I mean, she's not like bulky by any means, but she's not thin, right? She's she's very well put together. She's she's turned a hammer several times, right? Um, she picks it up. It's very. It seems very light in her hand. She flips it around several times, not as if she knows how to use it from a weaponry t um, a point of view, but as she knows how to use as she as she's assessing it, the weight of it, how's it's balanced. She's she holding it. She's, she puts it out on one hand sideways like this, a little about two thirds up the haft towards the uh, the head to see how the balance on the axe itself is. And when she does that, she notices your handcock on your waist. <laughs> Don't laugh, Elliot. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Uh, and it's, I, I will uh, present my handcocks to her. I'll slide them across the desk and say, uh, is, I mean, is there anything you think that you can do to improve these, or...? I wasn't looking for that. I, that, I, that, wasn't a, <laughs> that wasn't a bait for you, Demetra, but that was perfect. So, um, she looks immediate, She looks down at, the, at what are essentially tomahawks, and she's never seen these before, like, of this design. She's looking at it, she goes, what's, what's behind the cord? Uh, behind the cord. I mean, it's. Hey, what, what's the story? Why is there cords attached to these? What? What is? What type of weapon is this? Uh, so it it's mainly used for um like a secondary weapon. It, it's just to give me some range in hand to hand combat. So if there's something trying to escape or if well, for I understand that for the tomahawks, but why the why the cord? Uh, so I can pull them back to myself so it's not it's not a disposal it's not like a throwing axe where you throw it and it's gone it's, it has the cord so I can pull them back and use them it's, it makes my throwing axes reusable plus it also doubles up for other occasions where if I need to pull myself out of somewhere or pull myself up somewhere then I can use the axe the tomahawk and then pull myself out as well so she's she's looking over these things. She's looking at the cord. The cord's light. The cord's what? You know, she's she's very much appreciative of this. I'd love to see this Hancock in action. Uh, I could show you sometime, maybe. So she 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 <laughs> just stop this. this. Is they're called Hancock. Stop, Jim. So <laughs> I'd like to see your you cock in action, Jimmy. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen too. I should have realized that this is not where I should have put Miss Bell Tree. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, so she takes you outside and she shows you some targets, <laughs> and she and she and she tells you, <laughs> shut up, Jim, and she tells she she kind of points you over. Okay. And so with I... a very very you know intuitive eye, she wants to see this. She's like she's never seen 
this thing. She knows what a tomahawk is. She knows what a throwing weapon is, but she's not seen cords attached to them like this. She would assume it's gonna it's gonna hinder its flight. So I just knowingly nods. I I, I approach the area that you uh, toss the axes from, and then I turn my back on the targets. I. Uh, Release the Hancocks on my sides. I allow them to drop to the floor holding onto the ropes and I start doing like a whirly display of the ropes whilst spinning around. <laughs> like Will Ferrell in old school. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then like at the last second, uh, I sort of twirl them up, I, I toss them up, I let them drop and slide into my hands and with pinpoint accuracy spin round and toss them at the targets. Okay, um, I put your character sheet out there, open it up. Um, roll, um, I think you can still roll the attack action even though you don't have anything targeted. And roll it with advantage. You're under no stress. You're under no... Yeah, so... Wham, right? I mean, dead center, right? Red ring of, of what must be an archery target of some kind. Or, a, a, you know, a dagger target of some kind. Just dead, dead, dead center. And then do your dexterity check again with, um, with uh, advantage. Ability check, right? Yes. Yeah, and then you whip them back um, and right back into your hand. Um, she's she's very uh, she's taking in the weapon. She doesn't care about you, right? She's she's not watching the way that you're throwing them. She's watching the flight and she watches it come back in your hands. Who designed these? Uh, they, I mean, <clears throat> the, the concept was my own, um, but it was loosely, well, I can't say it was my own. It was, uh, an old friend that, um, sort of brought them to my attention. So they, 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 I, I, I saw it once used and then I, uh, picked it up. I wouldn't say designed as much. I've... I've been dabbling with them for a long time now, and I've just tried to slightly improve them as much as possible. But I, I'm not a skilled weaponsmith like yourself, so these are very much like a not prototype as much. But I, I well, whoever definitely... she's looking at the at the Hancock, and she's looking at how sharp she's running her thumb a little bit along the blade, and she's they're 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 very beautifully crafted. They're very well balanced. They may not be much to look at from a beauty standpoint but somebody knowing what to look for recognizes how excellently made these are would you be willing to leave one with me so that i can see if i'm able to duplicate this is this mm. you don't have to feel and she sees you kind of you don't have to feel obligated i'm just this is i this is something i would i would love to try to replicate but i don't know i don't know honestly who would buy such a thing but I've got to imagine, and it, she looks at, at, at the target again. If much, you can train people to do this, then there would be a market for it. How, how much time would you need it for? About a week, maybe? Ten days? Uh, I'd, want to break down, I'd want to break down how it's, how it's balanced. I'd want to break down the... the, uh, the <laughs> I'm not going to say it. I'd want to break down <laughs> how... Uh, how it's crafted, we'll just go that far, out of respect. <laughs> I, will, I, will, I, will, I will allow you one of my Hancocks. And I okay, will... so, she, I mean, she's just... Thank you so much. She, she wraps, carefully wraps the cord around its haft, and then, um, and then leads all of you back inside. Now, what can I do for you? And she places it very carefully uh, behind the cabinet on a, on a, um, a padded shelf where you see other not quite completed axe, ha axe heads, blades, things that aren't attached. So it's a place where she's keeping like the metal um, when they're not completed yet. Well, I, if I've sort of done you a favor in the Hancock, I mean, potentially you could do me a favor in like, e like giving me a better axe or... <laughs> Improving my like, I just I would I'm in the market for a for an axe, basically. 
So she looks over. So she 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 asks you to hand her your axe again. She again she pulls it out. Um, she's feeling it again. She's she's uh, balancing it on 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 uh, palm. <clears throat> she's looking it over. She says, uh, "Let me look this over for the evening. Come back and pick it up tomorrow. I'll also sharpen it and I'll oil it for you as well." It looks like it's seen a little bit of. You know, there's some blood on it still. There's, you know, she says, well, I'll clean this up for you. And then she looks at the others and she kind of looks over at Daka and she she sees his rapier. She looks down at Elliot and then she looks over at Daedal and says, if anybody, if you would like me to clean up your weapons this evening in, in exchange for what this, it, the knowledge that I'm going to be able to learn from this, I'd be happy to do that this evening for all of you. That would be very nice. Thank you. Do you have any crowbars? <laughs> <laughs> or, and or caltrops. <laughs> so, so crowbar, she doesn't, she doesn't bat an eye. I've got crowbars. Caltrop, she kind of looks at you funny. That's not something she usually gets a request for. Uh, well, if, if, if you don't, do you know where I could purchase them in this town? Where's the couch? Maybe Magistrate Kalon would have some from the military. Uh, I, nobody's ever asked me. I mean, I know what a caltrop is, but I'll be honest with you. That's the first time anybody in this town has ever asked me for one. Any chance you could knock up a couple tonight uh, while we, you're doing our weapons? I can pay you. I couldn't do that that fast. I've got to cut the metal. I've got to, I've got to twine them together. That's, that's a little bit of, a, of, of an order. I've got other stuff that I'm doing ahead of that. Oh, how, um, how, how the, much the for... Clean up of your weapons is such a simple task. I'll put somebody else on that. How much for a crowbar then? She looks over at Dimitriev and she looks down at you and she she simply hands you a crowbar. Oh, oh a gift. Mm. Yeah, that's a crowbar. You, you asked her for a piece of metal, <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, well, is this well, is this the person who I'd sell scimitars to, or do I just sell them to like people in the market or whatever? I don't know. You could you could pull them out and see what she thinks of them definitely. Yeah, go on. I've, I've got some I've got some I've got some swords if you're interested in buying these. <laughs> <laughs> Nine scimitars. <laughs> Enjoy your swords. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's a crowbar on your sheet now, Elliot. Oh, fantastic. Thank okay. you. Okay, so you pull out. So, okay, so and tell me how you're gonna do this, Jim, because I'm. This is. I'm, I was. I've been very curious about this for the last three, four weeks about how this is gonna actually happen. Um. Well, I'd say. Do you do you like you know obviously you sell you sell swords and stuff. Do you, do you buy them as well? I've been known to purchase metal. Yes, but for the most part, I. I, I and she nods over to to. Um, Dimitriov, his, you know, unique weapons, most definitely. What do you, what are you, what do you have? Well, <laughs> I can reach into what my don't I have? and produce my nine scimitars and a mace and four daggers. <laughs> she, so she's, so you, you're kind of like, <laughs> you're like the street vendor, right? Mm. <laughs> what, what are you looking for? Right? You open up your jacket. So um, out on the counter... She takes you over to a more wooden counter, first of all. Let's say that. You're not going to do this on top of her beautiful um, display case. And you pull out the first. You pull out the second. You pull out the third. The fourth, the fifth. And, she, and at some point, she just kind of looks at you like, who the fuck is this guy, right? <laughs> like, why the hell? Okay, so. And then she she realizes where all these came from. <laughs> right? Because she's like, okay. So she looks at him. She picks one or two of them up. They're really shabbily crafted. They're they're weapons. They're good for combat, right? Um, these would be things that you would find in like a very small backwater town's armory for use of anybody who wants to take a weapon and defend the town, right? Mm. Um, however, they are metal. They're steel. Um, they're not iron. They are steel. And she looks at him and she goes, "The weapons are pretty useless. They're they're." But I will purchase the steel from you if, if that's something that you're interested in. I could mm. offer you maybe two gold for the lot. Two gold for the lot? I'm just going to melt them down. Wow. Two gold isn't much, you know. 
I'll maybe be able to make one weapon out of all of this when it's said and done. <laughs> it's silly because I don't know the economy. So how much how much would you would you buy a scimitar for? Probably about a gold. They're they're, they're not that expensive. In a backwater town like this, something, something. So your crossbow would fetch a much higher price than a than a than a normal scimitar, if that makes sense, mm. right? Mm. Um, but yeah, I mean, you, you, basically, she's gonna take him. She's gonna throw him in a friggin' crate out back, and when she eventually gets around to it, she's gonna melt him down. Mm. Maybe Kalon would pay you more mm. because he's probably gonna use him for a different purpose. Yeah. Uh... I'll, I'll, you know, I'll, there's there's options there. I'll keep all of them for now, thanks. <laughs> Put them all back in my backpack. <laughs> she, she she waits very very patiently and very politely as you're putting them away one at a time. <laughs> Brilliant. Is there anything else anybody else wanted to do? Okay, so we'll just assume that you come back the next day, you've got your stuff, so all of your stuff is cleaned up. You don't have to role play that aspect of it. Um, and then I'll notate that on the on the map for you later. What else did you guys want to do in town before? I'm assuming you want to take off maybe tomorrow or the next day. Is that the plan? Well, what, what, what we want to do is we want to go see how much we've been paid in my uh, in my box. Okay. And then divvy it up if people want, because like people people might want to like you know keep my boxed communal or not it's up to them and it? it's up to them if they want to have their own stash or if they've got somewhere like their own private place that they can keep things because like you don't keep all your money on you do you so i don't know if they've got a, their own bank or what i will just keep my money in dacca's box that's mm -hmm. it's satisfactory to me it's satisfactory to you. okay so you're heading over to the rothwell house so the rothwell house is a um the Rothwell House, again, is a location um, that is very, very, very well appointed, right? This is something that is made to look really nice. Like, you know, this is the place where you go to do monetary exchanges. This is a place where you would go to exchange your money in a bank of sorts that you could get writs from the Rothwell House, exchange those at other Rothwell Houses to get your money back. So, for instance, if you were deciding to travel to another city and you knew they had a Rothwell house there and you didn't want to lug 200 gold pieces in a bag, right, because that's dangerous, mm -hmm. you go to one Rothwell house, they write you a writ. It is sealed magically. When you get to the next Rothwell house, they open that magically and then they see how much and it's either deposited into an account there or given to you if you want to walk out uh, out the door. Wow, that's sick. Um. There's also a jewel exchanger here. So once again, you don't trust the Rothwell house or maybe you're going to a location that doesn't have a Rothwell house and you've got 200 gold pieces. You could buy one or more gems, which are much easier and smaller to carry. And Rothwell house stands behind all of the, the worths of their gems. I mean, they're, they're known throughout the entire area. Um, in fact, let me pull up So if we go here, right, right now you're currently, you guys can see the map, right? Yep. Okay. So you're currently in Victa. The, um, the manor house, Tillich Manor is about right up here. Two days, nor a day and a half north, day north, and another day and a half in, right? So you get up to the, about this spot is where the crossroads in, you travel in, and this is where Tillich Manor is. Halver is one of the is one of the larger countries or uh, city states, if you will. Mm. Um, Goodwin with Hanlet just to its north, right? You've got Thames and Quentin, another smaller one down here. The city of Blake's, Dimmy. This is where you're from specifically. Both you and Daka mm. are from Blake's. The Upper Spine. This is Elliot. Is this is where you're from? This is where the city of Steelbury is in the Gnomish Enclave, mm. actually. Um, and all of these locations, the Gnomish Enclave does not have one, but these, all of these above ground locations all have Rothwell houses in them. Typically, if you look down at the bottom here, anything larger than a town is going to have a Rothwell house in it, a town or larger. 
will have a Rothwell house. Some villages, depending on where their location is, will have them as well. Mm. Does that make sense? Yep. Yep. So, um, so you walk inside the Rothwell house and immediately, Daka, so you've already been here, right? You have, as a member of the Grey, um, you and Kaelon already know, you are afforded. So as a member of the Grey, just for a little bit of backstory, because he does work, Greyer are the pseudo-police of Alver. Um, there are not Grey in other um, enclaves, other city-states. They have their own version of them under different names sometimes with different tasks and abilities. As a member of the Grey, Jim has access to any Rothwell house Daka does that he goes to. They will have a private box placed for him in order to encourage him to come to the town. This is something that the Rothwell house does because it makes their town safer. Whenever somebody engages in some type of a contract with Daka, whether it's, I need you to find this fugitive, I need you to protect my family on this journey. I need you to whatever it may be, right? Payment is always made to the Rothwell house and payment is always placed in his box. That's the contract. If the contract isn't fulfilled, the money doesn't end up in the box. Mm -hmm. So essentially, Kalon would have engaged the Rothwell house and said, hey, Daka and his friends have 50 gold pieces waiting for them. If they, if, if I tell you the go and he, with your return, he has told him to go. Right. So inside your box, remember you've got your street clothes because you only put on your grays when you're ready for action, right? That's like when, that's like when you put on your persona. Right. So in this box is currently your street clothes, if you will. And then your 50 gold pieces in there in, 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 in neat stacks in a back corner. Right. Five, so, 10 gold piece stacks. Right. So 50 quid we've got in there. No, no. If it was quid, it'd be about 6,000 quid. <laughs> no, all right. Okay. So 50, but 50 gold. Yeah, 50. I'm yeah, 50 gold. Quid. I'm going to say a quid. I'm just joking with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so it, are you taking that out of the Rothwell house? Because I'd have to adjust my notes. Well, if people want them, right? Like, so I need to speak to to Dimi and uh, well, Dimitriov and Flagel. Obviously, Elliot said he's fine with me keeping like the group's gold in in mine. Um, well, I'm like, as we're like friends, I, I'm happy for you to keep it for the group. Okie dokie. Is that okay with you? Flagel snap. You'll I'm probably fine. have to type that. Yep, I'm fine yep. with keeping mine as well. Okay. Right. So, and then just for a background for the other, um, the other characters for Demetra for da I'm sorry for uh, Demetra for <laughs> Flagel snap and for Elliot. Um, this is, this is probably aside from, maybe House Reckless's safe. This is the safest place in town. Mm. Right, they have they have their own private guard system with the Rothwell House. Think of them almost like what was it the um, oh god who was it during the Crusades the uh, the Crusaders how they would have the they were they also handled the banking system. Yeah, yeah. Right, it's almost like that. Right, like they have their own private police force, guard force. They're not overbearing. They don't ride people down. Their sole intent and purpose is to provide a gold economy, and they take a cut of every piece that comes through. So Kalon would have paid a small fee in order for you, if you got a rid of gold to somewhere else, it would cost you a small percentage. Right. And they do a lot of business through the land. Right. And then also, I guess we could put more in, right, if we wanted? Yeah, you have basically a, 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 a small trunk, so like two feet across, one foot tall, one foot deep. Is inside your your small your safety deposit box, if you will. Can you? Can so it's you, not made for like like Dimmy couldn't put his axe in there, right? But you know you could put Eliad could put his dagger in there if he so chose. Things like that. Right. Could you put my uh, could you put my uh, thing on the screen, please, so I can see how much money I've got. We could maybe all put in like a tenner or something, couldn't we? Like just to look after it. How much does it cost? Cheers. Funny. He gets it for free. Yeah. So what, why do we all need to put a tenor in? Well, just to, for safekeeping. <laughs> I'm just saying we could, right? Because 
I've got 43 gold, like, you know, is, there, is that wise to walk around that much? What if, like, somebody pickpockets you or something? You know, but obviously... Yeah, alright, okay, okay, I've got, well, I've got 32, so I'll put 12 in. Right, and 12. then it leaves me 20. Alright, so if we all put in 12, yeah? And then... So if I, so if I put my sheet down to 20, yeah? yeah? Yeah, and I've got notes on what's in the safety deposit box. Elliot, what are you putting in? If anything, I'll put in twenty quid. Twenty. Oh, oh right. So, okay, so now it's going to get more. And complicated, then we'll wait for Gadol to get back to his character sheet. Well, he can I make that decision what, afterwards I'll, if he wants to. I'll put twenty in. No, I'll as put well. twelve in. I'll put twelve in. Oh man, <laughs> they're trying to one up each other. <laughs> well, I don't know. Like, what? What do I need my money for at the moment? I don't know. What if we deprive somebody? Mm. Oh, does that happen? I guess it does. Yeah. Um, I'll do what the other does. Yeah. Alright, so everybody take 12 off your sheet for me. I'm just going to trust you. Please don't cheat yeah, on that. Yeah, I've already done it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll put in 12, yeah. Yeah, it seems that's how much Dimitri have won. Well, like, how much, how much is it to rent a room? Like, surely we should just have enough money to rent a room to go Okay, to so the... as, far as, as far as accommodations are concerned, Dimitriev, you already have accommodations just outside of town okay. with the lumbering crew. Right, that's you hold fine. you hold a, a small tent there already. If you wanted a room, you could definitely get that. Okay. Elliot has complimentary accommodations at the Rowdy Gnome. Cool. Mm. So, like, I mean, it just depends. It depends how much the gold is worth. Really, we need to know how much all the how how all the economy is and everything to know how much we need to keep on us and how much we should bank. Right, <laughs> is the thing. I think yeah. But, I think okay. twelve sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's fine, right? So, no, so there's ninety eight in the uh, in the box, right? Which is about twenty. That's what I got. Each. Yeah, fifty plus the twelve, 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 and twelve. Yeah, we could put, um, do you know what, for argument's sake, could put an extra two in and then make it a hundred, right, then it's 25 each. So I'll put an extra two in, because I'm a lovely fella. There you go. Um, You're going to put the head in there too, Jim? <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'm going to take the head to kill on. So, right, so, that, so there's a hundred in there now, and I am down at 29. Um, All right, perfect. Now, what's on, the, what's on the docket next, gentlemen? Right. I need to sell my well. I need to give my, I need to give Kalon head. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, shit! This went down real fast. Our, huh? our course of action, don't we? And then go and see Kalon. Yeah. yeah. Need to give. What did, what did you say, uh, Elliot? Decide I said we need to decide on our course of action. Like go and see Kalon. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, Jim's obviously okay. So you head back to Kalon. Um, so uh, next next morning, we'll say or no, no, no. Because I, I need to do that. I need to. Yeah. I need to. I need to sell my swords. I need to buy a bullseye lantern, and I need to show him the head. What's a bullseye? Okay. Lantern? Well, should we should we do all the shopping first, then then go to Kalon? Well, that so that's so. Where are you gonna are you gonna try to pawn these swords off on Kalon? I mean, whoever, whoever, if that's where yeah, no, I'll that's get fine. The most money. Okay, so how many swords do you have again? Nine. <laughs> nine, and you have nine swords, one mace, and four daggers. Four daggers, yeah. Four daggers. All right, so he'll give you he'll give you five gold for all of that. Okay, okay, oh. it's a deal, Kale, on the turd. Yeah, he'll give you five gold for all of that because he's gonna do what he's gonna throw those in a barrel, and that's gonna become training weapons, and or you know the house is burning down. Everybody, you know, uh, Annie, grab your gun. Oops. Well, okay, so wow, Kalon, can I ask him if he got any cow tops for sale? What is a cow trap? It's a, it's a tetrahedron of like metal that you goes on the ground, and then a horse stands on it and falls over. Yeah. So like a bear trap, is it? No, it's just like a spiky ball. Like spikes. It's like it's like it's, home it's, alone, it's, right? It's like home alone. It's a triangle. Exactly. Like, yeah. yeah, it's a triangle. So it's, however, it's, however, it lands its points up. Yeah. Well, it's a yeah, it's a, it's basically a pyramid. It's got four points. So three are on the ground, and think of a pyramid. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if, as it lands on its flat point, there's a point up. Why does he want? Why do you want one of them? So we can throw them on the ground, and then people stand on them and go, "Ow, my foot." Yeah. <laughs> typically, yeah. typically they're used um, like when you're trying to flee a location, you'll throw cow traps on the floor. Yeah. 
it'll cause very minimal damage and it causes people to, to move at half speed. Yeah, I'd get uh, some as well, to be fair, yeah. if I could. Wait, why can't you? <laughs> well, because you're struggling. <laughs> because I'm struggling. Oh, 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 yeah, oh I see. Yeah. Yeah, 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 so, Kalon, you got any cow drops? <laughs> oh, and I need to buy crossbow bolts <laughs> as well. <laughs> Kalon will um will reload you. He'll give you the crossbow bolts that you need. He's gonna give you guys. He'll give you guys. He'll reload all of your rations. He'll reload your torches. He's gonna. He's funding this trip for the most part. Cool. Um, as far as the caltrops, he'll give you those as well. He does. They will have had some of those. Oh, fantastic! Thank you. How how, how many how many how many bags of cal how many uses of caltrops? So caltrops, when you throw them, is a ten by ten, I think. Okay. I Quite think I've got, I've got to look it up. It's either ten by. I don't really think it's five by five. I think it's ten by ten. Because oh, you throw them and there's like twenty of them, and they scatter across a range. A five foot square area. Five, five foot square. Just one square. Okay. Mm. So we'll say you can. You, know, you could. We'll say four. Four uses. Okay. In total or each. No, no, in total. <laughs> in total, okay, so what, we're, we're in one set of cow drops each then. So two, two each, yeah? Oh, you, just me and you, Daka. Or, oh yeah, unless you guys want some too. If he's Do, giving them away for free. Like... Do you guys want cow drops? Okay, so we'll all have one lot of cow drops. Yeah. And I'm going to get 100 bolts. Well, hang on, hang on. Is it, what is a cow drop to use? Is it an action or a bonus action? or? A... It would be an action. You'd be throwing something across the ground. Okay, so it makes more sense if we have them separated between us. Yeah. yeah, I guess it does. You can't, you're not going to be able to throw more than one at a time, are you? Yeah. So. 100 bolts. And if Jesus we... Christ, Dimitri, or Daka, you want 100 bolts? Yeah, I need to run out. He's not going to let you empty his stores. I need to run out. I took 60, I used, I used... 35 in in the last adventure. I want to. You carry 40 total. I know he's not gonna. He's not gonna be like here. Take every weapon we have, so we can't defend ourselves. Well, 100 bolts is fine. He'll, he'll give you. He'll replenish you back to 40. Could, could 60. I need 60. I literally used. I used 35 last adventure. You used 35. He'll he'll get you back to 40. He can't give them all away. To 60. You know, get me back you know, to 60. Like, yeah, you'd yeah. use less if you actually hit something. Though. Wow. Okay, <laughs> 60 balls then. I, I, I'm not, I'm not a fan of this. 60 balls on oh, 20 arrows. Yeah, you have 40 40 bolts and 20 arrows. 60 bolts. I mean, I can he'll buy them from you to 40, right? Jim. 60. <laughs> 60. It's fine. I mean, it's only 35 more bolts, right? I've already got 25, so it's only 35 more. Who is that all? Hmm. The bolts, for fuck's sake. <laughs> it's not... Like, they must have thousands. Right? Thousands of bolts. Well, Where do you think you are, dude? <laughs> well, bolts, that... I'll buy them if I have to. I'm not saying I'll take them off him, but I'll just, I'll just want bolts. Is that all the shopping done? Is it? Um, or... Bullseye, Bullseye Lantern. What is a Bullseye Lantern? It it's a really good lantern. Um, Wait, that... you throw it and then. No, a Bullseye Lantern is something that directs the light. Mm. So where a traditional lantern is 360, oh, it's a like Bullseye a Lantern will have mirrors on the inside, and will yeah. only have one pane open so that the light all reflects in one yeah, direction. Just a... A torch. Yeah. Basically a torch, yeah. Thank you, a torch, yeah, a flashlight. Mm. <laughs> what about flashlight. an oil flask? Does Kalon have oil flasks? You yeah, you're going to need oil flasks, flasks for that too, Jim. All right, oil flasks. Oh, I, I, I want one. <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys. What is it, the Army-Navy store? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, well, we're in like, town. On, like, we on. can look around we, the town we, or whatever. We... No, 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 that's fine. I'm just I'm, I'm amazed at it. I, I, wanna, I, want a, I want a bullseye lantern. I want 60 of this. I want cow drops. I want a crowbar. I want a horse. Can I, really. can I get Someone's a bullseye going to rob the place? Can I get a bullseye lantern as well? Hmm. I don't know. Jimmy can... I mean, you okay, said so, that... Um, go ahead. Michaels. You said that, yeah, like, Kalon's yeah. supplying the mission. Yeah, well, yeah, but he's not gonna. He doesn't have bullseye lanterns for you guys. It's not something that's like a traditional. So, uh, does, he have oil does he have oil flasks? Yeah, he must have. 
He can get you a few oil flasks. I would say yes to that. Okay, I'd like an oil flask, please. Thank you, Caleb. <laughs> should, should I take one as well? You can set people on fire with them. <laughs> get yeah, Elliot, dude. Them, yeah. Oh, what's all this? <clears throat> I reckon that's it, isn't it? Like, what, what are we doing then? So... Well, I want to do more shopping. What else do you need? <laughs> Manacles. Manacles. Oh, well, manacles like handcuffs. Okay, so who all got oil flasks? I, I love got one. Oil flask I love one. Yeah, yeah, I love one. Me, please. I'm afraid of what's I'm, what I'm starting here. <laughs> I mean, I don't know exactly why I need it, but I'll just give it to Elliot. Like, okay. Like, uh, <laughs> if it's free stuff, do you know what I mean? And then Doc, it's not free. You're gonna if you don't use it, you're gonna return it. Oh yeah, we'll use it. I'm sure you will. And you need you said manacles, right? Do I did I take your manacles away off your sheet? I think I did, right? Oh, we used Probably. it. We, we, we used we, it. Yeah, but I, I just wasn't sure if I removed it from a sheet. We had so let me add your manacles. Prisoner, and then they ran away. <laughs> manacles as well. <laughs> they ran away with our manacles. They ran away with the manacles. Absolute scumbags. Yeah, he'll definitely have manacles for you because they, this is where they uh, this is where they enforce the law. Mm, good. So it's two pairs the... of manacles, one for Elliot and one for uh, Daka. Sure, oh, sure. Okay, and then what? What else did you want, Elliot? Jesus. <laughs> Nothing from Kalon. Are you done with Kalon, Jimmy? Yeah, I guess I'm done with Kalon. I want to go to the hat shop. The hat shop. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't write in the hat shop per se, but we'll say there's a hat shop. What are you looking for, my friend? A red pointy hat. Looking for your red pointy hat. Okay, so they won't have a red pointy hat specifically right now. That would be more of a a um, an order item, right? They've got to make it. Yeah. Um, tell me about your red pointy hat. Is it felt? Is it leather it's, that's it's, dyed? Is it what is it? Yeah, it's leather. It's it's red. Uh, sure, it's not paper. <laughs> it's pointy. Yeah, I'm very sure it's not paper. It's definitely leather. Uh, and and how how tall is this hat? Yeah, it's it's about eight inches tall. Uh, it's about eight inches tall. Uh, okay, and then six um, the, wide, the, the young daughter comes around the counter and takes a little piece of string and wraps it around the the your your the crown of your head, and she she takes the and stretches that out across a, a piece of leather, and then she tells you that um, it's going to take two or three days to make this hat, or we could have it we could have it tomorrow. Uh, two or three days will be fine. Uh, I'll pick it up, you know, next time. She I'll... looks a little reclamped and a little... <sighs> okay. She just tells you it'll be three silver pieces when you come back. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Thank you. Oh, Dado. Dado, you got some robes, by the way. You got new garments. Yeah. Yeah, Dado's all robed out, dude. No, oh, I'm done shopping. Is there, is everybody done shopping or is there more we want to buy? I feel like I should have uh, <laughs> researched this a bit better after you coming up with cow traps and whatever they're called. Yeah, I'm yeah. just very curious to see how this, you know, this this is like the party that takes a potion of every kind, but then just can't ever, like, use them because they have too much. <laughs> no, we can never have enough healing potions. No, I'm going to use those cow traps. <laughs> I'm going to use the cow traps. I'm going to keep the cow traps until I need them, which may be forever, but... I'm going to keep them just in case. I, I would, should have researched more things, but that's good enough for now, isn't it? <laughs> Don't worry about it. We can always retcon that if we really come up with something. Thanks. Yeah. What I'll else is on, gentlemen? At some point. Um, the important thing was having lots of bolts. <laughs> and I guess... I guess... Uh... I, I, too, I agree, Jimmy, that um, Caleb was completely fucking unreasonable. It's like you want us to die out there. Yeah, right? <laughs> so... Uh, Elliot, do you have a light crossbow? Uh, no. All I have is uh, the the light given to me by the chief engineer. Right. <laughs> you don't have a longbow, do you, Dimmy? Or do you? Uh, I don't have any. I've just got an axe and a thing. And a dagger, probably. But, mm. uh... And uh, Flagel's got a crossbow, right? A light crossbow. Yeah. Oh, no, I've got a club, yeah. not a dagger. I've got mm. a club. Club, so... great axe, and handcock. So, Only one handcock now. So it could be a good idea. I've got a spare light crossbow, so I could give my spare light crossbow to Eliod if you want a light crossbow. In, you know, if you want that. 
So you've got how, a ranged thing. Is he proficient in using it? I don't know. How many hands do I need to use a crossbow? Yeah, I mean, isn't it Two like hands. The size Two of hands. Elliot? Yeah, it's a crossbow. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a light rifle. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I could have it, but I'm not sure that I'll... Between the shield and the, you know, waving my hand around, you know, invoking the chief engineer, I might not. But there's just some, there's some, like, there's the potential there. Like, it doesn't, yeah, yeah, it doesn't, fair. it doesn't weigh much, right? So there's a potential yeah, that sure. we see people, like, you know, 200 foot away. And so you can get, like, pop a couple of shots on the way in. Might as and well guess, have it, right? And I guess Dimitriov is always locked in combat or locked on the Yeah, floor, I'm going to so. be charging. Oh, wow. <laughs> I got him. Wow. So, <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I guess I'm the most suitable person to take it. And then Dimitrov could get himself a longbow at some point if he wants, because again... No, no, I'm going to just chop people's heads off. We could see somebody like 300 foot away, so you could shoot them with a longbow a couple of times. Have you, have you ever chopped someone's head off, Jim? No, have you? <laughs> yes. Yes, yes he has. In real yes, life? Uh, uh, well, yes. actually, in, in character, in character, yes. I mean, he said yes. Jim. He said, have you ever chopped someone's head off, Jim? Oh, and I'm sorry, like, Daka. I'm not really. I thought he said Daka, yeah. Oh, okay. I, I said Daka. I, did say Daka. I mean, you've, you've, seen, okay, you've so seen me cut somebody's Jim, head off, <laughs> Dimitri. Jim, are, are I've, Daka, you've seen me you cut giving, two people's heads your, off. <laughs> are you giving your light crossbow to Elliot? When they were alive. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have done. Um, yeah, I'll, okay. I'll give my light crossbow to Elliot. Okay, so open your character sheet. Okay. You see where it says light crossbow? You see the little hands on the right hand side? The little hands on the right hand side. Looks like a little handshake. Yep. Give item. Give Click item. that. And then it'll ask you who you want to give it to. Boom. There you go. Thank you, Daku, for the light crossbow. This will be an invaluable tool, I imagine. Uh, do you have any bolts, please? Uh, I don't. You can ask You can ask Kalo on the third for some bolts. Let's go to the office. For God's sake. <laughs> I traipse back, uh, <laughs> looking sheepish as I open the door into Kalon's office. Uh, don't switch have any more of those bolts, do you please, Kalon? He said I gave the last 40 to Daka. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Okay, where's the crossbow shop? <laughs> he'll, give, he'll give you 20. He'll give you 20 oh, bolts. Okay, okay, thank you very much, Kalon. It's very appreciated. <laughs> Wait, so how do I... What, what, how do I'll, I add? Uh, that, those I have to add. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant, there you go. <laughs> I feel like we're just a bunch of scousers, basically. That's exactly rob... what you are. We just got a robbed up Kalon. <laughs> <laughs> no, Kalon's robbing us. Yeah, yeah. What's the Kalon? We're just getting geared up for the next uh, the next part of the adventure. It's Lazy 22. Um, and I think that's pretty much all we need, right? We've got 100 gold in the bank. We've got bolts. I don't need anything more than bolts, really. We've just returned from a manor out in the forest, which has been taken over by blood cultists, it seems. So we're rearming before we go back out there to deal with the problem. We are, we are reloading. <laughs> mm. All is right, it... gentlemen. So what is your what is your plan then? I, we need to agree something with Kalon, right? Like. Uh... Are we getting his guards or what? Are we just going back there by ourselves? I assume Fax and his men are coming with us. So uh, Faps and only Elon would go with you. They're going to leave. He's not taking his manservants with him. Okay, okay, sure, sure. Because they're just, they're, they're fodder, right? Yeah. Um, if Kalon sends Virginia guys with you. <laughs> if K well, there's a good chance they'll just run in combat anyway. So if Kalon sends men with you, I'm going to let you know right now, they're going to be, you know, zero level guys. These are, these are like city guardsmen type. These are not, you know, hardened soldiers that would have fought with Dimi. So more accurate Dimitrio. than uh, Daka, yeah? So the only problem is then, as far as I see, is that is a meat shield a good thing? Because if one of them dies and then the worm eats it, you know... You know, is it, is it better not to feed the worm, or you know, I, I don't know. Do we the worm do we needs to feed. It? The worm needs to feed it. Uh, exactly, exactly. Do, but, so, do we want to feed it? <laughs> yes. Now, there's an argument. There's an argument taking these four guys and kind of leaving them around the manor area, mm. not necessarily taking them into the caves. Maybe if you have more prisoners, things like that. Yeah, that's a good oh, idea. Yeah. When when there's when a, there's a process sends there. To sleep. <laughs> <laughs> So let's go to Kalon and suggest this. Ask him to send some men with us if he can spare them. Yep. Okay. So Kalon will send you four of his trusted men. 
These are men without families, or at least their families aren't here in Victa. No one will miss them. And <laughs> it's not that. It's that, <laughs> it's that they're more apt to go with you, right? Oh, Versus... I see, I see. oh yeah, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> um, no one will miss them. Jesus, Elliot. Um, no, yeah, so he would send... It's a cynical one. Say that Elliot again, just Dato? speaks the truth. <clears throat> it's it's uh, Kalen that's the cynical one. Elliot just speaks the truth. <laughs> that, that's that's very true. Okay, so um, you will have you will have four. We'll just call them men at arms. They're zero level fighters. If I need to make sheets for them, I will later. You've got Faps and his man Elon, mm. and then the four of you. Cosmic. So we've got ten boys. Kind of. That's so pretty, we rest tonight and then an and then head out in the morning. Yeah, it's about midday, isn't it? It's about what? midday. I don't know. Oh, I thought. Oh, is this Did the day we, we just four come back? Yeah, it's about it's about one p.m. right now. Say again. Is it this the same day we just arrived? Or is this yeah. No, no, no. This is this would have been. Uh, this is. No, we'll say this is day. We'll say this is the morning of day two now. Oh, so we've we, we've already slept. We've woken up. Yeah, because you guys gave rooms to Kalon's men, or I should say, you did. I'm sorry, Kalon's uh, Faps' men in the Rowdy Nellum. You went and saw Oriolensis for a good period of time. In that case, let's saddle up. Let's saddle up. Well, I actually have a horse, so I'm yeah, can I buy a horse? Saddle up. <laughs> Are you taking the horse with you, um, Dimitrov? Huh? It's good eating on a horse. <laughs> no, I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna leave it here. I thought you might. <laughs> I thought you might. I don't want Elliot. Um, you can return on Faps. So Faps loads up with um, um, with some rations, some ropes, some other things that he feels he may need back at the. You know, he puts them in his um, uh, in his cart that you guys brought down, his wagon that you rode down in, and you'll be able to take those wagons back up again. Good. All right, let's go then. You headed off. Yep. Let's go. All right, it is an uneventful trip again back there. You make it to the crossroads. Um, instead of sleeping at the crossroads, you guys take turns sleeping in the backs of the wagons as best you can. You just make it a nice day and a half trip versus two and a half days out there. Nice. Let me pull up uh, the map here real quick for you. If I can find it. Here we go. So you find yourself, oh, let me get rid of little Jimmy. Oh, good. At least he's safe. Yep. Poor little Jimmy. You guys just but ignored him. You left You left town without saying goodbye to him. No. He's not going to be happy. Um, Doc, I got to ask you a question. Go on. Can you give me a perception check, please? Oh, God. He's in the wagon, isn't he? <laughs> I was going to say we should have checked to see if we're, if we're being followed and stuff. You've uh, now that you know little Jimmy's uh, um, modus operandi, right? The way he acts and interacts, <laughs> he, he's not following you. You 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 pay attention around certain corners. You fall back a little bit. You hold up with your wagon for you know an extra ten minutes, mm -hmm. and then catch back up. Jimmy, nobody's following you. At least if they are, they're not following on the road. It'd be a pretty you can see left and right pretty well, and once you reach the woods, it's a it's a pretty tough slog in those woods until you reach the uh, manor. Mm -hmm. I will say you're about ninety five percent positive nobody followed you. Glorious. There's always that little bit, right? Because there were those weirdos in the woods watching us, wasn't there? I've totally forgot about them. Yeah, oh, you yeah. guys did forget about them. Mm. Looks like they haven't burnt the manor down, at least. <laughs> No, oh, so uh, you get back to the manor. Good point. You get back to the manor. It is not, at least it doesn't look like it's been uh, messed with from the outside. Um, Faps and his man, Elon, they pull the uh, boards off of the front door. They open it slowly. Everybody's got their weapons drawn. Um, you know, they go inside. They kind of look around a little bit. They do, you guys, all of you, all eight of you, ten of you, do a complete casing of the manor and the immediate surrounding areas, and you find nothing. You go back into the um, into the area with the trap door, and the uh, box is still on top of the trap door, undisturbed. 
Do you? Well, do you, sorry. Do Do you want to take an axe to this trapdoor, and then we can just go down that trapdoor? It'll save walking all the way to the other place, and then we could just easy access. Then, isn't it? So Faps kind of looks at you, cockeyed, and he's. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I would like to open up a door down there, considering we don't know what's down there into my home. Mm, but I mean, we'll be clearing it out. I right? would We're prefer gonna... that we kind of keep it here. No, we'll just go the other way. Okay. For now, okay. <laughs> at least. Okay. Okay. I just, I just, I don't, you know, he's, he's just, he's, he's worried about this, right? He doesn't know what the hell's down there. Mm. The shit that he's seen in the last 72 hours. Yeah, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Four, right. four days, five days. What time are we on now? I uh, will say it's midday. Midday. All right. So I guess we just got to go down then, haven't we? This like this is it. Go, mate. Yeah. Leave a few guards up. Yeah. So the four men, um, Kalon's four men, can stay behind if you want. They'll do a fantastic job, provided they're not jumped by uh, three hundred cultists. Mm. Um, <clears throat> I'm assuming you're going to explain to them which house you're going to go down through. What one we of could them can... <laughs> so go ahead. What we could do is we could give one of them a torch and have him go first. <laughs> So they're not going to be stupid, <laughs> Daka. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, we could have. I hate, have, to, we I could hate leave... to break that one to you. So they're not idiots. What, what, three of them in the house, and one of them in the house that we're going down in, right? If you see well, what I, mean. I, I just, I just have a. Do we want to leave one by himself? Is what I'm thinking. Could we split me to pairs? Yeah, pairs. Yeah, so two, two in the house that we go down from, and two in the manor. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, what it, what what you could say is, I mean, it's pretty simple, right? They could simply, oh, there's Jimmy again. <laughs> they could, you know, you could put one on guard outside the house that you go down in. I mean, then they've got visual yeah. to the three, and then they'll they'll just kind of rotate right to yeah. when somebody needs to eat. If you guys are gone for lengthy periods of time. You know, things like that. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay, so who's got the torch? Um, I, think I guess I, do. I take it. Okay, hold on. Don't don't go too fast, there, Daka. I think. I'm Hang on. Where, where where is this? Wait, is this? Have we just walked to here? We've been here before. This is the first symbol, right? Yeah. This is where the this is where the uh, session it, ended, right? It's, yeah. No, it's not the first one, is it? It's the last no, one. We the last. No, this, so this is, is the yeah, last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is right way, way, way down. So are we are we just reversing right now? Or? So we're, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, I'm moving you down real quick. If I drag you through the walls, then you see all the back stuff. Um. Are there fire arrows in this game? <laughs> Define that. What do you mean, are there fire arrows? Like, you know, like Braveheart, fire arrows, pff, shooting fire. This is a game where your mind creates the limits. Yeah, I mean, you can make a fire arrow pretty simply, right? Uh, I think you are overestimating my mind, Dado. <laughs> <laughs> I think Dimmy oh, might I, want a long ball now. I'm just, I'm just yeah. saying, your mind sets the, sets the limits, which for you might be like very, very, very early limits. But wow, we're here to help you out. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I okay. Just, so I, who has who has the torch? Uh, it makes sense for Elliot, I think, right? Because he doesn't. Need... No, no, no! Like, just give me the torch, man. Oh, because I can drop it, and then charge or whatever. What in? At the end of the day. Well, yeah, but at the end of the day. I I just want to be able to see. <laughs> I'm so sick of being in the pitch black. <laughs> I honestly can give a shit whether it's optimal or not. Wow. I am. I I want vision. And I'll take it. Well, no, 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 it does make sense because these guys can see in the dark. They can go ahead. I've got the torch. You've got the ranged weapon. Yeah. And then, like, like I can put the torch on the floor next to us, defend you. These guys can kite round and, like, do you know what I mean? Brilliant. So yeah. But don't throw okay, on the so ground and run forward. <laughs> you, you, I won't you run return, forward. I'll fight on the torch. Yeah. You, re you return to the, to the scene of the crime, right? This is where you found... Um, Faps's brother's tunic. This is where there was a lot of activity going on. You killed two blood leeches or blood worms 
in this area, um, several cultists, obviously, and then the one priest evacuated down this little tunnel right here. I'm assuming this is where you would have wanted to come because you've explored every other portion of the upstairs. Yeah. Yeah, this is the only bit left, isn't it? Currently. Mm. There's only one way to go. Let's go, boys. After you... Down. Yeah, going first, <laughs> down. <laughs> after you... <laughs> After well, I was going to say after you to meet you, but, but yeah, no, wait, who's going first? No, I'll go, I'll go. The, the, okay. the night vision people should go oh. first, eh? Because we, we give the game away, that's the thing. We Tully have... Ca Tully Catacombs sub-level 2, oh, oh baby. baby. It kind of makes sense to have... Yeah, so that was yeah Dado, like either Dado or... As long as Dado... Okay, and I'm not going to pull out, I'm not going to pull Faps and Elon out until we determine that we need them. Okay. Yeah. If yeah, there's any interactions us, verbally. Yeah, they're with us as well. Dado, are you gonna are you gonna like have a hissy fit if you <laughs> if you accidentally walk into someone? <laughs> what do you mean? Well like I think you should go ahead is basically what I'm saying. Yeah, but I'm if, with going ahead. <clears throat> yeah. I like taking the lead. Yeah, so but can you can you like remain calm if things go badly? So yeah, no, Flar no. go about 20, 20 foot ahead of Elliot, who's about yeah your usual foot ahead of yeah us. your usual field. Okay, Flargo, I'm assuming you're gonna want to try to go uh, stealthy. Yes. All right, so give me a stealth check, please. Stealth goblin. And we'll see how stealthy you are moving forward to the party. Oh, oh, baby! So fucking stealthy, you don't even know. Super stealthy. I just, I just vanished from sight from the other. <laughs> <side>. <laughs> he, just, he just left them up in like a fart in the wind. <laughs> Jimmy and Jimmy are like, "What the hell just happened? Was it, did you run home?" <laughs> All right, so um, Flargle, now remember, you've got to take this a little bit slow, brother. Right? I don't want you just running off around corners. So move in 30 feet increments, and then I'll drag the party behind you. I'll let you know I mean, when I need you to stop if, for anything specific. If you, if you, if you move me, it's easy, right? Tw 25 foot increments would be better, because then yes, Elliot please. can keep up with well, you. Well, I'm just going to assume that <laughs> Elliot, Elliot will make it. <laughs> Poor Elliot with his little legs. <laughs> keep, yep, feel free to keep going, you're fine. This software is not... I'll bring you guys up in a few minutes. He's fine for right now. Keep going. All right, so the cave starts to turn to the right here, obviously. You see a column in front of you. Um, mm -hmm. Give me a perception check really quick. Who? Uh, Dado, because he's in the front. Flargo Snarp. This isn't for anything he's specifically hearing or anything. I just want to check his, uh, there's active perception and then there's, I'm sneaking ahead of the party for a reason perception. So that's why I'm having him roll this. All right, perfect. Go ahead. Did we get the bullseye torches by the bullseye lanterns, by the way? No, you did not, sir. No, oh, diced. Diced again. Keep going, Dadle. You're good. So you hear nothing. There's nothing. You, you've got you've got some soft wind kind of coming through the caverns. Um, the every now and then you hear a, a, a you know the soft chitter of a bat. Oh, um, right. One thing that you oh. don't notice on this level that you did on the level above is every now and then, even on the level above as you were coming down, you remember that that like grinding sound of something moving through the earth above you. You don't hear that down. It's much more silent down here. So which way are you going to head here, El or, uh, Dadle? Uh, I'll head north. Okay, stop right there. So ahead of you, you hear the movements and bays of goats. So you're like, eh. Playing like bleats. Yeah, I'll, soft I bleats and goats. I, I, I don't move forward yet. See, like, I, 
I can see light. Yep. Now ahead of you is a faint, faint red glow. Um, you can see off in the distance, maybe, what is that, about 60 feet ahead of you, I would say, is um, you see a large red crystal that you're not sure from this distance is it growing out of the ground, has it been placed in the ground, no. and it's emanating a soft blood red glow. And it's offering a soft light in the area. Mm. You can tell it's telepath te telepathically as well, can't yeah, you? Yeah, he's... That's why I'm just, I'm assuming, unless Dadel tells me I don't tell them that, then you guys would just have to retcon that you don't know something. I'm assuming he's communicating with you. Yeah, and then and then we can all. So are you, are you going to tell Ellie? Whoa. No, not again. My head? Not my head. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell, I guess you can just tell all of us telepath, tele, telepathically. I, I can't say it. I can only communicate with one. Of he's you. good. He's, he's told you guys. Data, what do you want to do from this point? Is there anything specific? Is give me a small I mean, action for you. I'm, I'm just walking back, walking back and discussing with them, like what okay. do we do? Because like I, I can see, I, I, yeah, I relay that I could hear the goats, uh, and uh, that like I can see a faint reddish light, it, it shimmering, like flickering. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, have, uh, it's, uns it's 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 unsettling. Uh, I I can't like legitimately sneak closer uh, without getting detected. I mean, I can sneak a little bit closer, but I can't get actually close without getting it detected because this light will will like enlighten. It's me. it's going to illuminate him. Yes. Okay. Yeah, well, do you yeah. want to look down the other passage first? Uh, we could. Yeah. Okay, you're still considered hidden, so go ahead and move your character. Uh, I don't want to get surrounded. There's noise and stuff in it, so. Yeah, um, in your so good point, Dimitrov. It would combat would echo a lot worse down here in this second level. In the upper, there's a lot less dirt interacting with the ceiling. It's almost all rock. Surely nobody could approach from behind us. No, but like from the side. So if we went up there, then they can come from behind us. Okay, so Flargo, you get to this spot here, and the cave mouth widens dramatically. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but there's no light here, so I'll, I'll relay this like telepathically to him. Hmm. <laughs> Out of my are head. you guys okay? Hold on one second, Dado. Are you following him in staying, or are you staying here at these crossroads, guys? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna tell him to stay back at the crossroads, but like come come to the opening of this, uh, like this mouth, or what I call it. <laughs> so right about there. Yeah. All right, go ahead and feel free to move forward. You can go forward about sixty feet. We'll see what you see. Oh, you That's 20. Go forward. Okay, so you see some columns. Some These are natural stone columns ahead of you, but again, the cave mouth is getting even wider. Off to your right, Dadle, to the right of these columns, you see another soft, yeah. faint glow coming from around the corner. I can't Sorry, red glow. see it this time. Yeah, it's just out of your view. You you don't know where the light extends to. You can just see the pulsing of the glowing, if you will. It's literally pulsating a little bit. It's like my vision is impaired from compared to the other place. Because I can see farther, <laughs> further down the other road. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, there. All right. All right. So I can see the light, uh, sort of. Yeah, all right. Um, well, considering like how this area is shaped, like we we'd have a better chance of like escaping and not getting trapped here. Uh, but fighting in the other, like we'd have we'd be able to create a throttle, right, where we, uh, 
where even like superior numbers wouldn't uh, w wouldn't be a disadvantage for us. Mm. Uh, and we do have six men, don't we? We don't have four. We do have six. Yeah, Faps is Faps is with you, and so is Elon. Mm. So uh, discuss it with the others, Elliot, and like you guys decide which which light source we should investigate first. My head's still ringing. I relay this information to the others in the group. Um, for, for what it's worth, I think we should take the left passage and investigate the nearest light source. Yeah, I agree, Elliot. I trust the judgment of the nom. <laughs> I trust my own judgment, but it's the same as the noms, so... I don't trust Okay, you. so you're back at this point again. What, if anything, do you want to do here, Dato? What's the plan, gentlemen? So, how, how strong is the uh, light source? Like, can I drop the torch here, or... Uh, I want my you could. You, 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 you could. Yes, you could uh, drop the torch. Or we could give the torch to uh, Elon. Yeah, he's going to be absolutely useless, isn't he? He is, Elon. Yeah. Yeah. Elon. Wow. <laughs> Mate, did you see him in the last one? Elon, come here, brother. <laughs> Hold the torch. <laughs> Stay back. Hold the torch and probably get eaten by a giant fucking worm. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are pricks. <laughs> I mean, Elliot the Numb, you don't have anything to say about this plan of sacrificing you, this man? I mean, no, but if it wasn't shittier or shittier at combat, like. Got this. <laughs> <laughs> Elon is, is is from from your from your knowledge of Elon, he's going to take orders directly from Faps. Probably isn't going to be leaving his side unless ordered to, mm. um, and will be following. You know what I mean? He's he's he's, he's Faps' man. So we just need to get to the light source that's down the tunnel. That's that's what I'm worried about. Yeah. All right. Give me another perception check there, uh, Dato, real quick. Oh, nice. perceptive. Not even below. Okay, ahead uh, now into the glow. You see one of the fanatics with. Uh, you're familiar with this look, right? They're the blood red robes, the the gnarled dagger in the uh, in the hand. Is there? He's not searching for anything. He seems to be moving around. The bleeding is continuing from the goats, um, just softly again, just you know, as if they're, you know, doing whatever the goats do when they're hanging out. I'm telling Daka to come up here, and uh, I ready my crossbow, and I... then me and Daka will take a uh, shot at him yeah. at the same time. What about Elliot as well? Mm -hmm. Elliot. I can see him, right? I can see him here. Yeah, but come up to me so you could actually, like, shoot without penalty. That's yeah, and what about Elliot? Man. What about Elliot? Elliot's got a crossbow. Yeah, Elliot as well. Elliot could come with us. <laughs> you can form a firing line? Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Come on, Elliot. Do you, do you disequip my, unequip my shield? To I don't know how. Yes. Okay, well, I, I'll equip the crossbow then. Yeah, you'd put your shield on your back. Can I, can I get in front of you three without being seen? Is no. that a thing? No, so I just... I, I mean, me and Elliot can't shoot past you. There's no Also, way if you go forward, then obviously they, they'll see the light of yours, right? That's the problem with... Yeah. Oh, well, no, thingy has got the light, yeah. Never mind. No, um, yeah, Elon's got the light. Mm. I can't move, but it's all right. You can't? No, it just... Oh, you have to um, click your little man in the top left corner. Hey. Hey. Ah, uh, it's because I put this bullseye thing on. Oh, that's it. So there you I, go. Can I go behind you? Like, can I actually go in front of you, or do I have to stay behind you? What are you? So tell me what you're trying to do. What are you doing? I just want to, like, because once them three shoot, like, it's gonna I mean, kick off. And, Elliot, so. yeah, Elliot, you and you just no, 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 that's fine. No, no. So hold on, hold on. So just wait. Hold on, Dado. 
You can stand so here, Dim Jimmy. Dimitriov, it's just, so what you could do is yeah, just stand behind them. The minute they shoot, you step in front. I'll allow that. That's not a that's not metagaming. Okay. That's like okay, the minute that the that the crossbows are loosed, I'm just gonna step right around Dadel and Daka and I'm gonna stand in front with my axe ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, that's saying. totally that's fine. Flaggle snob, did you see I whisper, did you see any other cultists when you investigated no, this? Just the, no. just just this one, but like we we know that there are more, right? Well, can I can I listen? We, we know there are more. Can I can I listen out like very eerily to see if I can hear any more people? You can make a perception check if you want. Now here's the here's where I'm gonna make the uh, the ruling here. One of you can make the perception check because I don't want four rolls because then you just wait for somebody to twenty, I'll, right? I mean, I already rolled a seventeen. You've seen him, and that's where that's where you spotted him. Elliot's listening for others. Okay, I'll, I'll is, do it. I'll do I'm, it. I'm thinking there's, yeah, we can only see one guy and there's a bunch of goats here. Maybe this is just the guy who looks after the goats. Maybe there aren't any other guy or any other more there guys. So. Okay, so you you obviously see what you see. You hear bleeding as well, Daka. You hear the goats. In fact, you know, Dimitriov, when, when, when Daka kind of points to his ear, you can hear the bleeding of the goats as well. It's a very soft yeah. bleed. The bleeding of the goat. Bleating. 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 Uh, the sound they make when uh, a Welshman is around. Oh, I, I went when Daka when he's here. When, 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 when Daka points that he's here, I just give him the, uh, the, the symbol that I know that I can hear it too. <laughs> okay, so um, pop, out, pop out your combat tracker. Here's how this is going to work. Oh. We're going to roll for initiative now. You are all going to get your attacks first. You're coordinating this. This initiative is for immediately after those attacks. So theoretically, you could all go before him again. I rolled shit again. I always roll shit. Why good to charge this guy or not, Dado? Okay, so... I mean, if you want to die... Oh, I'll die, will I? Oh. I mean, well, there, I there could be like, there are like 50 other cultists. Yeah, there, there like, could be like oh. 10 other dudes all jumpy, right? We, we, we should use the range like, while we have it. Yeah, yeah then the, this mount throttle, like where, like we shouldn't charge out into the open, because like up there it's open, right? You can mm. see it now. Okay, so what are we doing here, gentlemen? Let's make it quick, because he's, he's moving around a little bit. He's not... Like, oh, I know what's going on. He's just kind of I mean, meandering we're a little on bit. Three. Like, we're yeah. just waiting for you to tell us how to shoot. One, two, three, <laughs> shoot. Okay, um, so who wants to shoot first? No, You're all shooting at the same time. Who's rolling first? At, at three. On no, three. I reckon Dak is Dak we'll, we'll, do, we'll do it. We'll do it in order, right, Elliot? All three, of you, all three of you are rolling, no matter what. You're yeah, all firing yeah, at the same yeah, time. Yeah, so you're doing it the other guys are firing. We'll do it in initiative order, right? So it's Elliot. We'll if do one of you shoot order. and miss, is he going to react? No, no, because we're all shooting no, at the same all, time, all but we'll just roll the dice in initiative okay, order. Okay, then okay. It's, then so it's... In, in, essentially what, what I'll say is this. This is how I'll rule it, okay? Real quick, simple and easy. Daka's the most experienced. He's going to he's gonna fire. The minute the other two hear his snap, they pull their triggers. Okay. So it's like snapping a football, right? The, the linemen don't move until that ball moves. It's the same concept. So okay. Daka also, fire first. Before I fire first... Achoo! <laughs> nice. <laughs> he, he needs his hands for that, though. Not happening. Not happening. Not happening, really. <laughs> it's like a, it's a really good idea, Elliot. All right, Dagger, let's go. Pull the trigger, It's like brother. a really good idea. Like, it's a really, 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 really <laughs> good idea. Pull your trigger, Daka. Let's see it. Wow. Well, I'll just shoot a normal shot then. Target him for me. Oh, yeah. This is the one time I could use some less as well. <laughs> you know it's really, really good, Elliot, right? <laughs> I mean, there's there's only one guy, right? I mean, who knows? You know, there's a, but a bunch of goats. I mean, you know, how, you know, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, like... fair enough, fair enough. Oh, man, Woo! Daka with a headshot. Woo! All right, give me your, uh, give me your uh, damage, please. Boom. Isn't it an uh, advantage or not for a crit? Yes, it is. 
Um, let's see. So who's next? Let's do Elliot next. Uh, with so advantage. How how how, uh, how do I find my crossbow? Oh yeah, I didn't even do it with advantage, did I? Target target the enemy. And then when you left click on the crossbow, it should come up on your. There oh, you go. Okay, and then hit attack. Okay. But you should and have then with advantage, advantage if yeah. it's. <laughs> oh my god, dude! <laughs> 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 Roll for damage. <laughs> Told you this was a good plan, guys. Mm. <laughs> but how the shit he out the Decker? <laughs> he fucking. Yeah, he's, he's got yeah. a light crossbow. Thing. Yeah, well, so why? I don't oh, know why he moved. Hold on. Is that more powerful than a hand crossbow? Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. I just got a little. Wait, I just got don't a little. You have a, don't you have a light crossbow? Well, not anymore. <laughs> I mean, weren't you? Okay, now, uh, uh, Dado, <laughs> fire, please. Flargle, I'm sorry. Oh, Holy shit, two of the 19. <laughs> 220 and a 19. Roll for damage, please. Amazing. Oh, oh, yeah. But I've got my bonus action. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If he's not dead. No, he's not dead. So, what? um... So all three. So um, amazingly enough, right? Daka <laughs> fires off his hand crossbow. He's he 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 holds that thing side like you know gangster style, right? He's like this. He's peeling down. Now he takes a shot with his uh, with his hand crossbow. This thing plugs this guy right right above the thorax, right? Because he's aiming center mass. Plugs him right in the thorax. Elliot follows up with an, with him and nearly friggin' Robin Hoods him, right? <laughs> nearly hits Dadel's. I'm sorry, Daka's arrow. And then Dado follows up with another one right to the guy's uh, midsection, dude. Just three shots. Bang, bang, bang. I'm going to make this guy, because there were two 20s in there and a 19, he's going to make a dexterity check at disadvantage, DC 15. If he fails it, he falls over. <laughs> yeah, that was glorious. If only, if only Dimrath okay, had he, Dimitrios yeah, so had a he, bungo. So he falls over, the dagger falls out of his hand, and he is on the ground. He's unable to even, with the way you guys hit him in the lungs, and he's got no air in his lungs right now. He can't even call out for help. All right. We m move. Now we move forward then, because, like, if not, no one else is reacting. Let's, can we wait, like, five seconds? That's sure. Nothing. What are you What are you waiting for? We're, 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 you guys we're put listening. three freaking crossbow bolts into this poor bastard. And he's laying on the ground. Like we're know. listening for movement and reactions, right? There's no, there's uh, there's no reaction yet. Now, if you let him take time to get his air back in his lungs, I'm, he's I'm probably going to gonna cry out. With five seconds. Like if we wait five seconds, I'm happy to just shoot him again. Safe. I'm just happy to just shoot him again. Yeah, Dimitriov yeah. is up first here. Hang on, does, uh, does Jim not get a bonus action or? But that was if he the... wants it, yes. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, use my bonus action, just finish him off, if I can. Oh yeah, oh, right. finish him yeah, off. Then we not even finish him off. Pyong. <laughs> okay, so he's it, as he as he speed reloads his hand crossbow. Right, the other two arrows just nail. Or the other two crossbow bolts nail him, and as he's falling back. What would have been an, probably an insta kill flies over his head, Diced. and rattles off into the into the cave behind him. Not so crazy loud that it's going to alert people. It's just you hear it in the back, just a ding. <laughs> Diced. Okay. Dimitrov, you're up. And, and this is what I mean. Like, can, can we like make a, a perception check here to see if we hear anything within like five seconds, like a reasonable time? before he is able to recover. And then like, if we don't hear anything, then we can charge. <clears throat> Daka, roll that, um, roll that, let's see, what did you, that was your, did you do that at, at just, oh, it's cause he's prone, right? Does your, does your targeting, doesn't your targeting cause you, you're a sharpshooter? Yeah, there's no, there's no. There's I, no disadvantage for that, right? No, no, I just rolled. I just rolled. Because you would have had the advantage, then it gave you a disadvantage, which was one die. But in reality, you should have rolled two, correct? 
Oh, I could have, should have, I should have kept advantage, yeah. You should have kept advantage because yeah, of your feet, remember? Yeah. You've got to remember that because there's no way for me to program that out. So yeah. roll me another one more attack. All right. Oh, good point. Good thinking, Jack Paul. Ah, there you go. 24. Oof. Now give me your damage there. Glorious. Because remember the prone, the prone, um... Well, he's dead, so the overall given is moot. What is it, eight? Yeah, eight damages. So this guy's bleeding out on the floor like still crazy. Dead. He's not quite... His, you see his left foot, his feet are just still... still they're shuffling slightly, right? Like they're kind of moving a little bit back and forth. He's got four crossbow bolts in him, right? Center mass. <laughs> and he's just... He's, he's, he's... I mean, he's near death, dude. There's... This is ugly. <laughs> this poor bastard looks like a porcupine. Dimitriov, you're up. Do I charge him? Do you reckon, guys? Right, well, I don't okay. wanna... Let, let's let's you know. Six seconds. Decide. Go. I don't, yeah, don't want to waste Timmy. the dice. It's up to you, Timmy. Well, I can't hit him without charging him, and I don't really want to waste the dice. But... Isn't the charging you like your ability, right? It's not. It's you don't doesn't use anything to charge, right? That's one just your... special. No, it's one special. No, no, it's just your thing, isn't Char it? Is char are you sure charges isn't charge your feet? Yeah, it's your feet. Yeah, you can just do that whenever it's you just, want. It's on my active abilities. When you hit a creature with a melee weapon attack, you expend one superiority dice to attempt to damage another creature with the same attack. Oh no, hang on, that's the wrong one, the sweeping attack. Yeah, that's the wrong one. You're looking for, where are you, oh, yeah. Charger? As part of your dash action, you can make a melee attack with a 5 plus bonus if you... Oh, right, okay, so it doesn't... Yeah, so the attack. only stipulation is you have to use your dash action and move at least 10 feet. Oh, it's You're sure easily it. doing that. It's 30. And then there's 20. And then we... Active effects. And this should be an advantage here because he's prone? Uh, or does it going to be dis because it's disadvantage with range at prone, right? Well, this isn't range, is it? This is. So do I roll this with advantage? Yeah, roll it with advantage. Attack. Can your attack just be that you're twisting the death? <laughs> right, so yeah, you oh my. Yeah, you strike oh. him. Roll for damage. All right, so it's these, these four these four crossbow bolts hit the poor guy. Mm -hmm. Poor guy falls backwards under the ground. As soon as the as soon as almost as soon as the triggers are pulled, right, Dimmy's flying in there, and he just takes his axe and nearly cleaves this dude in two right in right his center mass. So yeah, you turn this guy into nothing. Glorious. That's why you play these stealthy characters. <laughs> Okay, so really quick, um, combat is not over yet. Uh, uh, Dimitrov, can you see what's what's going on, or what does your view look like? Uh, I can see five goats. Perfect. Okay, so six, I'm just making sure. Goats. So to the left of you there, to your left, do you see right here? There's yeah. a fire burning. Yeah. So Dato couldn't quite see what that illumination was beyond the red glow. Oh, but you've okay. got illumination from a red glow here. You've got a fire burning here, and you've got a soft red glow that is emanating on this side up yeah, here. Yeah, I can't see what it is, but I can see the no, glow. No, but you can yeah. see the glow. Yeah. And indeed, ahead of you, you've got you've got about a they're about it's about a two to two and a half foot tall um, fence line that's been propped up and built, and inside there are several goats. They're all red in hue, red in shade. Mm -hmm. uh, so. <laughs> Has combat ended, or are we still in combat? No, you're still in combat right now until I see what happens. What are you guys doing next? I need quick actions out of you. I mean, uh, well, well, I, I want to... Yeah. Wanna... It's Elliot, isn't it? Yeah, sir. Yep, move, Elliot? Uh, move up behind me to have... Um, and, uh, well, just... Uh, can I prepare a crossbow bolt to fire when something happens? Is that a thing? Yes, yeah, so you can declare that if you see an enemy... You want to fire your crossbow bolt, Adam. You can do that, yes. Yeah, then I'll, I'll do that. I'm ready a crossbow bolt to fire. Flargle. Yeah, I'll move up and I'll uh, put my crossbow away. So I, so I can just spam charge. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. yeah that's your feet. You're a charger, but you got to use. You have to use dash action to move at least ten feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wanna, I wanna keep like the perce perceptiveness. Like I wanna, I'm obviously like not. I don't trust that there was only one guy. Of course, um, Daka, quick. Right, I'm gonna say, uh, move up with me to uh, Elon. Because I can't, I can't see where I'm going right now. <laughs> And then uh, I shall I shall ready a shot in case I see anybody. Yep. Did I cover you? Yep, that's perfect. Thank you. No, where did where did you go? Where are you? Uh, I'm next to Elliot, a little bit in front of him. Oh, I can't see Jimmy. Oh, uh, yeah. underneath Flagglesnap. Oh, I was under oh, Flagglesnap. Under Flagle. okay. I didn't see Flagglesnap because I had to run in the darkness, right? I, I he's to... hiding. He's hiding inside the goblin's robes. How appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is gone too far now, Jimmy. Like I'm not <laughs> with you hiding behind me, but underneath me. No, I had to I had to run in the darkness, right? I mean, I guess I could have waited a second, but I was just like I was running That's in the right. darkness. So, okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll stand here. I'll stand here, not in the darkness, right? Glorious. Okay, so there are three more cultists off to the right hand side. They spot you. You spot them. Oh, I can't see anyone. Oh, I can now. So do I get my shot at him then? Dimitriov, you're up first. Well, do I get my reaction, right? Where are they? Is I... it worth me charging? Well, I get my reaction first, right? And... Did you oh, Did you react? Okay, go ahead. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, I didn't mean you, you, um, you ready to action there. Can you see them? Yep, I can see one. Well, remember, don't, don't, don't uh, meta this and move around because if you no, don't no, have line of sight. Okay. I can see two and I've targeted the closest one. And, and, Elliot. and then Elliot, you have one ready as well, right? Yep, yep, yep. Thank you. Nice. Can you see one? I can see two. Oh, okay. It's just a normal shot for me. Pew. Okay, that strikes. Go ahead and roll for damage. Glorious. Love the sound effect. Look. Seven. Do you reckon Bonus action? 60 feet of me. Um, I don't think I get it, do I? Because I just I held, I held the action. So no, I'm that's because you were readying an action. So you moved and waited to use your action. You are allowed a bonus action also. Because mm. so instead of you firing then moving, you moved and said, "If I see something, fire." Yeah, but then I get the bonus action as well. Absolutely. But isn't that during his turn rather than? Yeah, like, that's, what, that's yeah. what I was thinking. I, that's well, but that's so. This is this is where it's a little metagamey. This is part of his turn because during his turn, I uncovered the the uh the targets he would have fired at them that turn okay does, does that make sense yeah because that's how i would handle your enemies if they saw you come around a corner they'd fire away like they and did they'd use me. bonus actions last without a doubt yeah yeah okay like well, they did at me last week I yeah should shoot again then <laughs> that strikes roll for damage All right, and then you strike that one, two two crossbow bolts to the chest, and he's down. Four. Glorious. Pew, pew. <laughs> right, Elliot, your target has fallen. Can I target a different one? <laughs> Can you see another one? Uh-huh. Is it in your line of sight? So if you draw a straight line to it, is it not being blocked? The, uh, oop, dear me. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? I'm, it's difficult. <laughs> I, I, it's flipping heck. Zoom back a little bit. Zoom out a little uh, bit. I, I mean, that's the that's the. Uh, yo, I, no, there's a like. Yeah, I think I'm like just like you can see yeah, the cliff here. Right? Okay, yeah. yeah. If you can see them, so yeah, that's yeah. fine. So that's seven. I don't. Are you allowed to shoot that far? We're gonna find yeah. out. A yeah, you are. Eighty. Yeah, because it goes yellow yeah. then red. Yes, shoot, fire away, target him and fire away, brother. It might be a disadvantage. No, no it, it shot the wrong one. No, I targeted the. I targeted. I, I've targeted the new one. I've targeted the new one. But it roll be... that one more time. Well, it, it's a thirteen, like, like it's, yeah. Like... But roll it one more time. I want to see if that if that's an error of some kind in this. I'll add the crossbow bolt back to your inventory. Thank you. Yeah, we'll take the thirteen. There we go. Okay, it, uh, so it's a thirteen. 
I think thirteen it's does hit. Go ahead and roll for damage. <sighs> Jesus Christ! I know, dude. Where was this last week, guys? <laughs> so what? Why do we need that? Can I can I use a bonus action then as well? You may. So can I is is pushing people with my mind a bonus action or not? I forgot. I don't know. What does the ability say? It's bonus action, is it? Oh, does it say my thing? Okay, well, I mean, it should. I... It should say what it takes to utilize that ability. Okay, well, yeah, it, there's no point anyway. He's standing next to a wall, so I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll skew the bonus action anyway. I'm, I'm done. He's gonna exert dominance by pushing him. <laughs> okay, Dimitriov, you're up, sir. Oh, I'm assuming I'm not in range, so I'm just gonna move up. I guess. Oh, sorry, I did that by mistake. <laughs> Jimmy the King. I'm gonna move up. So... <laughs> It's it's purely psychosomatic. So you're saying he's he can like start fires with his mind. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is a bonus action. Yeah, but it's thirty feet range. Mm. Okay, so what did you do there, Dim? I I just moved up. I assumed I wasn't in range, so I just moved up and ended turn. Okay, so remember your turn. You can use you can dash, and use another thirty feet of movement if you want. Yeah, but I didn't think that would still. I still didn't think that would be enough. So I'm just going to hide around this corner, prepare my axe, and if someone comes around, I'm going to hit him with the axe. Okay, Elliot, you are up, sir. Oh my god, that was quick. Um, we don't know where this last... Oh wait, uh... I'm sorry, hold on, hold on, hold on, I apologize. Blood Fanatic. Ah, yes. Isn't... Oh, right, yeah. Okay, so this guy, at seeing his buddy right here fall, <laughs> yanks out his dagger... Ooh. Holy showbox. He's going to dash straight in. Okay. Oh, Elliot, Can you're I... up, sir. It, um, okay. Um, uh... Can I can I can I go over here and fire my crossbow around Dadel or is he in the way? I will say that you can do that, but I'm going to tell you if you if you critically miss, you're going to roll for a hit on Dadel. Okay, that's mm. fine. I'm willing to that's no <laughs> <laughs> And remember, anywhere anywhere that there's a, a block here that you're allowed to... So that would put data out of the way, so you're fine now. Oh, oh Remember, okay. when I set the walls up on these things, I cannot yeah. set them up perfectly. So anywhere you can move, you can move. Glorious. Oh, nice trip. Okay, so it's, as he's dashing in, your, your crossbow bolt goes right behind him as he's dashing through. Um... And then I guess I'll push him with the power of my mind. Way. Okay, then what's my save on that? Let me just check. The target must succeed on a strength saving throw DC 8 plus your proficiency bonus plus the ability modifier of the score increased by this feat. Wait, so my proficiency bonus is my, my wisdom right? Plus 3. No. Okay, so when no. you so when you took the feat, you took a one bonus point, right? Yeah, and in tell we wisdom, in wisdom, yeah. So then you would use the wisdom modifier, yes, because your the feat works in conjunction with wisdom. Yeah, but proficiency okay. is two. Like that's ah, what, that's so, based what, on what level. Yeah, that's you at are. the top. That's at the top of your character sheet on the right. Your proficiency bonus that'll oh. go up as you go higher in level as well. Ah, so I get the plus two, plus three. So, yeah. Perfect. So, yes. Okay, so, plus, cool. so that's plus five, and then it's a it's a so it's base a of eight. Yes. Yeah, so thirteen. Yeah. So a thirteen, and it's a strength. Yes, it is. And, a and, and then can I'll willingly fail this save, so he could have like. Okay, so he fails it. So you can move him five feet towards you or away from you. Uh, away, uh, away from me, away from uh, yeah, but but from from from, from this position. So yeah. yeah, and then I move over here. You could have also done that first, right? You could have done the bonus action first and then shot. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. To like make it safer for not hitting table yeah. is, is an option. I mean, it's in future. That's necessary. I mean, no, I know it's not necessary. Don't, don't, don't need. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we don't need to be that safe, right? Yeah. But like, we it could some, have. We could take some risks. <laughs> it could have. It could have been good in another yeah, situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Flargo Snarp, you're up, sir. It doesn't really seem like there's a point for me to start breathing Dragon's Fire here. I'd rather save that spell. 
I don't know. So I'm just gonna mine sliver. This guy. So he has to make a saving throw for intelligence. Okay, he makes the saving throw. <laughs> Poor Dadel. <laughs> so so you, tried, you, you witnessed Elliot push him back with his mind, and you said, I think I'll follow him up with this mind sliver of mine, this, this powerful cantrip yeah, that will... I was, going, I was going for the other one, but yeah. No, I'm, uh, I'm done. Okay, so you targeted this one. See where the green dot is? Isn't I got that? No, I can't see a green dot. Okay, well, I, I see a green dot. I targeted this one. The barely oh, injured that you moved okay. last. Yeah, that's the green yeah, one. That's yeah, that's the one that rolled. Yeah. That's the green one. Okay, uh, let's see. Who's next? Daka. Daka, Daka, right. I think these guys are the tough ones, right? The daggers are the tough ones because that's the one there, yeah, whereas the, the scimitar is the one who went down easy. So I'm going to have to use the the uh what's it called reckless shot this time which will hopefully uh you know be not reckless but more targeted to the face let's uh let's see if we can get diced and a 12 misses diced and then we'll bonus action him again i don't need to click it again do i it'll just go no, oh, because you didn't roll the damage. Yep, good. The rolling the damage mm. is what closes it, and you miss again. So <laughs> Jesus, Daka. Every time I do the good shot, I just miss. Fantastic. <laughs> Look at Dimitri. <laughs> <laughs> well, what can I say? Um, I think okay, go ahead and roll damage um, anyway, so it closes out yeah, that activity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, end your turn Jeez, there, and Dimitri, so you're up. I'm not going to end my turn there. Thank you very much. Uh, so <laughs> Why not? Die. I'm gonna duck Come on. it. <laughs> Come on, I'm gonna duck it. Oh, well, we've got I, these two guys. Yeah. We've got these two guys. Are they not involved in this combat? <laughs> yeah. Come on, lads, get your asses in gear. <laughs> That's a very good point. I forgot about them. I'm watching you guys just eradicate the enemy as if it's, nothing's going on. <laughs> okay, so Elon is gonna maintain his defensive position in front of his buddy here, Faps, until Faps decides to move in. Okay. So, um,. How are we on hitting diagonally? What cool? do you mean hitting diagonally? Tell me what you're... So if if I... you're making base-to-base -base contact, you can hit. Yeah, so if I'm in this square here... You can hit, hit either of them, yes. Okay, okay. Because... But I want to do a sweeping attack, but it says... Uh, when you hit a creature, you can expend one superior dice and make a range... A range attack? Oh, no, hang on, hang on. Uh, <clears throat> when you hit a creature with a, a melee attack, you can expend one superior die to attempt to damage another creature with the same attack. Choose another creature within five foot of the original target. So, can I roll to hit the first guy, and if I hit him, then use the sweeping attack? Or do so, I... it's got to be within five feet of the first guy. So, that attack. would be right next to him. Okay, so I can't do that. Okay, that's fine. So who, we'll see, he's barely injured. Oh, they're both barely injured. So we'll, yep, we'll so do. Faps takes his two swings at the guy dead in front of him. Dimitrov, you're up. All right, I'm just going to sweep at the back of this guy's head. How do I just plug it in? There we go. Great right, axe. I'm on the wrong screen. Okay. All right, with the swing, that hits. Nice, nice damage. And uh, I'm not going to bother wasting dice at this stage. So I'm going to end the turn. 
Yeah, this seems a pretty easy, easy fight, doesn't it? As it yeah, works, I don't so. want to waste too much. I don't want to shoot my load. Yeah. <laughs> what, what did you say? No, you don't want to shoot my load. I don't want to just like go out throwing. Yeah. I'd rather just like kill these because by the sounds. Okay, of that, two dagger stabs onto Faps because Faps is the one really cutting him up. Even though he took a nice shot in the back from Dimmy. Okay, so he hits. Second attack. Hits. Oh my god, look at these dice. Oh, wrong guy, one sec. <laughs> Stabs himself in the chest. <laughs> All right, so two dagger strikes straight into him. Elon sees this. He's got his, his uh, battle axe out, and he's going to strike at that same guy who just hit his boss. Nice. Nice. The guy is just, he's breathing his last curdling breaths, right? He's... There's blood pouring down his chest from the two strikes. Um, there's blood coming down his back from Dimmy's axe blade. He's not quite there, but that guy is close. Elliot, you're up, sir. I'll move up um, to get line of sight on this guy. And I'll shoot him again. Glorious. All this of a sudden, lock's pretty good, isn't it? It's all right, yeah, yeah, funnily enough. He's become a marksman. <laughs> oh, eh, not no, so much. I, I boo crossbows. Uh, He's very confident after those first shots, right? <laughs> this one misses, unfortunately, Elliot. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll leave it there. I'll just uh, pop, back, pop back in here. Any mind tricks or anything, or...? No, no, I don't think so. I could this guy is evasive as fuck. You got any cantrips? Uh, not, not that I can use as well as shooting. Ah, uh, okay. Are there any bonus action cantrips? Yeah, I need to check. I need to check, mm -hmm. yeah. Not they would be very useful. Could be pretty but cool. Yeah, that would be yeah. Okay, he's, he's going to cast... Hold Person on Daka. Whoa. Person. Yep, he's a little worried about that. He's seen that guy shoot his crossbow, and he missed his last two. But he's—I mean, this is—he's a little worried it's about this. That I have as well. He's more worried about it than I am. That's for sure. <laughs> wow! <laughs> All right, DC eleven saving throw. Oh man, wisdom. Okay, wisdom's not so bad. Do I just click on the saving throw thing? Yep, yeah, you just click on the saving throw. It'll automatically take it from your sheet. Brilliant. Oh, God. Brilliant. Okay, player. so you are you are held in place. <laughs> you can do nothing until the next action where you can take another saving throw. All right. <clears throat> and I don't think he has a bonus action, but I'm going to check. No, he does not. So that's his action. Flargo Snarp, you're up, sir. Uh, that's a brave. I'm gonna move in here and uh, ship this guy. Ship. You're gonna use your dagger? You're, you're, you're sick of the crossbow? Thank you. Yeah. And the mine, mine sliver? I, I put the crossbow away. Oh! Okay, you go oh, for the shiv, oh, and, and you're, you're the only guy not able to hit this poor guy. <laughs> so everybody else is taking chunks out of him. <laughs> now we're back to normal. I used up all the magically <laughs> infused dice that clearly weren't mine. Um, okay, as, what else, Flargle? 
No, I use your listen. use your um your bonus action to do whatever that's called. Your yeah, the goblin disengage. Okay, Daka's held again. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Bath, Bath is going to put an end to this guy. <laughs> you and me, Jimmy. For fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm glad we're not uh, duoing this adventure. but <laughs> Misses with his first. Swings with his second. Misses with his second. This guy's living on the edge, baby. <laughs> All right, Demetrio, finish this guy off, will you? Oh my god. Like, honestly, guys, I'm just gonna literally, with anger, at the fury and anger. <laughs> oh my god, ah, Demetrio. Ah, <laughs> not so clever now, are we, Demetrio? <laughs> <laughs> I, I fall on the floor laughing. <laughs> <laughs> What? You actually hit him with that? No, he didn't hit him. I clicked on the dead by accident. Oh, yeah, all right. All right, two yeah, dagger no, shifts to Faps again. I actually fall on the floor laughing, so I expend my next action. First one's a miss. Second one's... Uh, yeah, second one strike. This guy with the last throws of his life, right? He's fighting for dear sweet Jesus here. <laughs> Even though Duck is still paralyzed by the whole person, there'll be there'll be a little a little hint of a smile. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Elon's gonna Elon's gonna try to put this guy away. <laughs> oh dear! No, nope. he misses, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Okay, Elliot, you're up, buddy. Uh. Right. Uh, I'll move. I'll move, move back in here. Target the same guy in his attempt to disrupt his concentration. You might be blessed. Will Elliot have to save Daka? No. Miss. No, no. <laughs> Holy hell, boys! <laughs> what is going on? We just need Benny Hill. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, earlier, I'm not going to spend any superiority dice. This is an easy fight. We're good. I mean, the thing is, like, we're not taking any damage. So in that respect, it is, it is That's an true. easy fight. That's but... true. All right, two, balance, two so. dagger thrusts to uh, Elon here. That's a hit. It's the whole person concentration, is it? Yeah. Doesn't matter if nobody hits him, Jim. <laughs> Second dagger thrust. Does hit him, just barely. It does get through his uh, leather armor. Elon's in a very bad way here. Elon's not looking so hot, boys. Oh, man. He's a pussy. <laughs> Flo Flo wow. Flargo Snarp, you're up, sir. Well, he is. He's hardly taking any damage, has he? What a, what a he, took, he took three out of four dagger thrusts, too. Yeah, what do you think he is? Friggin' uh, Achilles? <laughs> I mean, the yeah. first guy, the he's... first guy who we shot three times, he was an Inter absolute badass. Intelligence saving throw on that guy uh, that's holding Jamie. Which one? Okay. The one, the one holding here. He makes it. <laughs> <laughs> we fail every single dice. Jack will instantly makes it. <laughs> All right, Daga, give me your saving throw, please. Oh God, it's so far. It's so far back. Here we go. Way! Hey! Daka emerges from the uh, from the whole person spell. <laughs> All right, that's at the end of my turn. I so I can't think, do hold on, Should you hear that at the end of each of the at the end of each of the turns? So that's yeah. your turn. Yeah, it's me turn. <laughs> okay, Faps is going to try to finish this guy off. Oh, 
All right, he buries his short sword into this guy. Four. He only had one health left. One health left. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even roll for damage. <laughs> Dimitriov, you're up, sir. Missed him. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he went on way too long, man. <laughs> I mean, I haven't done anything for three turns, so... <laughs> Neither is Daka, you're good. Yeah, you're not the only one that you do a lot. I like how everybody's got their target things on this guy. Oh. That misses as well, Dimitriov. <laughs> now Demi has two in terms of not doing anything. You cast me, right? You know, cast me, honestly. Okay, Elo's gonna switch his battle axe. <laughs> Now we're actually a team of idiots. This is brilliant. <laughs> okay, Elon misses with his battle axe. <laughs> Elliot, you're up. <laughs> Elon's well, gonna die. Elliot's just gonna pull out a shotgun at this point. <laughs> just unload. Just despite my desire to uh, to not use any uh, any things we're gonna go after, I guess, aren't we? Um... I mean, if you think you can kill him in this one round, otherwise he's going to get to attack, can he? I mean, we but die. I, 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 I killed him. Yeah, there's no way we could. Kill him. You could tell he kinetic him away, couldn't you, from thing if you want to keep I guess, but he might just rush back at him, right? Well, no, because they'll get an attack of opportunity if you push him directly up. Yeah. No, he has to, um, or he has to take the action for it to be an attack of opportunity. So if Elliot pushes him away, that does not cause one. No, but he would yeah, need no, one if he wanted to try and get the thingy to afterwards. If he wanted near-death yeah. guy, he would take one. Also, he could just pull the near-death guy away, right? Because he can choose to fail the save. Whereas the other guy the other guy could resist getting pushed away. But you could always pull the other guy forward. I just, yeah, I just... he cured the blood fanatic. <laughs> no, it was a mistake. I'm talking to oh. Elon. I'm talking to Elon. <laughs> <laughs> Once it's the end, he's like, come on, kill us! <laughs> Ult ultimate animal betrayal. <laughs> okay, so he casts Cure Light Wounds, uh, or Cure Wounds. The, okay. uh, the, out of the, out of the, uh, the torch light comes the little, the blue, uh, whatever Elliot usually does, and it, <laughs> it heals. All of his wounds immediately close up all across his chest. Yeah, cool. you're right, though. I could have, I could have pushed him, couldn't I? Because then he'd still be in contact with Dimmy, wouldn't he? Yeah, yeah. So he so wouldn't be able to. Yeah. P pulling the other guy would have been better, right? If you if you stood if you stood like where I am there, you oh, could oh, have, pull it, oh, pulling you could pull him, him yeah. off. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> and then because then he can just choose to fail the save, whereas the other guy. I might mean, they can do the same from where he stands now. Push. Uh, Elliot you know. with his telekinetic push. But but the okay, point so is it's... the point is, Dadel, that they can save against being pushed, right? So you're better off pulling no, your no, 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 no. I mean, I mean, he's pushing Elon on in the spot. Here. Oh yeah, yeah, push Elon away. Yeah, yeah, he can push Elon up there. Yeah, yeah. I forgot he was dead. Yeah. It's okay, so he fails it. So are you pulling him or pushing him? No, I'm pushing him. Yeah. All take right. So he moves back. Dimitri Say off. again. I shout, take him, Dimitriov. <laughs> <laughs> take him. <laughs> take him, Dimitriov. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve. No, it's the. No, uh, he's gonna take his two two swings at uh, at Dimitriov here. Yeah, so it's it's better to like push and pull your friends, isn't it? Because they don't resist, basically. Sixteen hits you, Dimitriov. Yeah, well, sixteen is my thing. Yeah. So. <sighs> okay, so you take five points on the first. And he misses the second. All right, Flargo Snarp, your turn to miss. <laughs> Banter. Make your intelligence check number. <laughs> okay. Oh, I saw the 20. <laughs> you hit him. You hit him. Hit damage. Hit damage. <laughs> You remember his, how to do that, right, Nato? His mind, <laughs> his mind just sears. You rolled the... Burns. 
<laughs> you don't get a 21 on the on the damage there. Oh, Roll the damage, you. not the attack. <laughs> All right, so you shoot uh, a little mind sliver into his brain. No, but, and, uh, but and the thing is, you see, it, you see it, a little it, dribble of blood come out of his ear. Yeah, uh, he also gets uh, minus 1d4 on the next saving throw he makes. Yeah. That would be oh, good nice. if you had like a super duper spell, wouldn't it? Like that would actually be pretty good then that you could do that to make yeah. it. If you had like, right. you know, Daka, you're up. die or whatever, be pretty strong. Um, right, we'll go up here. And uh, shoot this fella. Okay, a... are you going to hit him? Um, oh, reckless shot, baby. Let's now hope. you know why they call it reckless shot, Jim, because you yeah. were asking that earlier, right? <laughs> well, it's not reckless. It's more like aimed, right? It's more like aimed. There you go. Yeah, nice there hit. Go. Boom. Four, 20 damages. So <laughs> that, I mean, that just, not only does it hit him, it buries itself deep, right? I mean, it's just... That that crossbow bolt is coming out of his back. Yeah, it's like it's like it's more like a headshot, right? With with Dacker, it's more like a headshot. I, I I guess you could see like you know in like a sword or whatever, it's like they go crazy or whatever. But with this, it's more like harder to hit the head, isn't it? But if you hit, it's better. Now we'll just do a normal shot to finish him off. Pew! Got him. Yeah, you got him. Roll for damage. And he falls over dead. Glorious. Pew pew. Where the hell is he? There he is. That could be. Oh, if I do dead that way, it actually is on top of him like that. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. I wanted to see what that did because I've never seen dead that way. That looks better than the other dead. In my yeah, it does, doesn't it? We can tell he's dead now more, like more easily. You couldn't, you couldn't tell the other ones were dead with the little skull in their corner. More easily, yeah, right. more easily. Because well, I didn't think of pushing. Uh, I, I didn't have, think of pushing no Elon away because of that guy. Like, even though he's dead, like I knew he was I, dead, I like... but he seems more in the way there, even though he's dead. You know, whereas the other guy, you can kind of tell more that he's not in the way. I, I don't know. It's, it's one million percent. It's one million percent more readable than Blood Bowl Three, anyway. So. Yes. Yeah. That's true. That's true. That's true. But I'm, right, I'm so, you on uh, so silence again descends upon the cavern. Uh, we've been going for just over four hours now. Four hours, of, well, actually, of game time, but longer on stream. So this is where we'll cut today's or today's episode, boys. Um, over, we're close to five hours. <laughs> yep. So, um, and again, you know, uh, as we get to, well, you weren't here on time, Dadel. So, as we get yeah. to, um, we we get our usual um, our usual uh, fade out at the end of our episode, right? As everything starts to dissolve, and then we fade back in on another scene, right? Mm. And we see the priest that ran away from before, from the fight two sessions, three sessions ago when you first encountered, um, and he ran down the tunnel. And he's standing before someone who is slightly out of focus, who has a large, I don't want to call it like an, it's not an Indian headdress, but a large headpiece, if you will, right? And it's red and it's got a skull in the front of it, like a little shrunken skull type thing. And he's looking down on this priest and this priest is in front of him. Uh, you can't tell if he's, begging if he's pleading or if he's worshiping or whatever and 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 there's a stern look of of defiance on the on the uh the 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 guy who's standing with the headdress on and you see him just pull a dagger out of his friggin uh, out of his belt and just plunge it straight into the chest of the priest that we that we uh that we saw run away from earlier oh man and the priest falls over backwards and dead and the person with the headdress turns around to some individuals behind him whom we can't see totally. We know there's people there because we see their, their silhouetted shadows. And he points them off in a direction and they all start to walk down the cavern. And then that's where we end today's episode. There you go. Thank you very much, Jack Bull. Thank you very much, Elliot, Dimmy, and Dadle as well. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.